everybody and welcome to day 14 and I'm gonna share with you an update on my treadmill and my health journey I hope you stay tuned Week two is I'm on the treadmill 12 minutes a day and I up the speed of my treadmill. I notice that I do really well for the first five minutes and then the next five minutes my heart starts to beat a little more. What I also like to do is when I'm on the treadmill towards the last two or three minutes I will up my step a little bit. I will add some arm movement. Now my treadmill is very old and so it slips a lot so I have to hold on to the bars or it will slip because the treadmill part of it is like, I don't know, it doesn't work. But I'm not doing anything more different than using the treadmill. I'm not doing anything different, but I notice a lot of things happening that are different. So let me sit down and talk to you a minute about it because I find this really fascinating because I did not change my diet, but my diet is changing me. And how can that be? I'm eating everything that I normally eat. But what I'm noticing is I eat breakfast, lunch, and supper. If I overeat, I feel sick on my stomach. That has never happened before. I actually won't feel good. And that has been happening after the second week. So I tend not to overeat like I used to. I don't feel hungry for snacks. I don't eat between meals. I don't do any of that. And it's just been amazing because that's not necessarily something I was trying on my own. It's just ever since I started exercising, my body is just doing this. Also, I did not skip one day. Not one day. I wanted to skip one day and I thought, you know what? I skip one day, then I'm going to skip two, then I'm going to skip three. Ten minutes a day is not much. And a lot of you would be thinking, uh, that's nothing. But if you do it ten minutes every single day, it does add up. And for me, it's seeming to work. And using the treadmill does work for me. So at the end of every single challenge, every single week, I'm going to just share with you a little bit on the treadmill. I'm not going to go a full 10 minutes like I did last week being on the treadmill, but I'll just share with you a little bit what I'm doing. So many people said to me, oh my word, Tessie, that treadmill, that sounds so boring and I'd rather walk outside. I do so much work outside. I don't live in an apartment. I have a lot of work. The treadmill is not boring because I turn sermons on. So I listen to my favorite station, WDAC, that is local, and I listen to sermons and all kinds of uplifting music. It's amazing. So I am not bored one bit. In fact, I close my eyes and I just focus on what I'm listening to. And you know what? Before you know it, my time is up. What I'm going to do in the next weeks is I'm going to go from 12 minutes to 15 minutes. And then I'm going to go from 15 to 20 minutes as my body progresses and as I progress. So I'm here for the long haul, you know, if I have to go 12 minutes for a couple weeks, I'll go 12 minutes a couple weeks, you know, that's all right. As long as my heart rate is going up, and as long as I'm getting out of breath, <laughs> I'm doing my work, right? So, like I said, I'm only doing this for heart healthy, I'm just doing this to not be out of breath. A lot of things, there's so many things I could share with all of you, and you know, being on YouTube, that is a very public platform, but when your body changes and you turn 50 years old there are some things that change with you one thing is the lack of estrogen and so estrogen does all kinds of things the shortness of breath is not my heart my heart is perfect the shortness of breath comes from having uh, hormone problems and issues because of the where I'm, my body's going through all kinds of changes people it's 40 degrees and I'm sweating <laughs> But it's not an excuse, but that's just how life is. Now, heart disease can be a lot higher 
women over the age of 50. And because you don't have those hormones like you did have, yes, heart disease can happen. And you know what? I'm just here to have fun and to share my life with all of you and just to inspire you. So many of you have been emailing me, telling me that you have a treadmill somewhere and you're digging it out. And I'm really happy for you. I wish I could do a video every day to inspire you, but you know, people would get tired of that. But I want you to know is, hi people, I'm here and I'm doing it every single week. You know, join me on my Facebook group, Homestead Tessie, and you know, be with us and enjoy, you know, sharing your story with all of us. And I'm here and I'm doing it. It ain't easy. <laughs> but you know what? It, I do feel better. I, I'm not out of breath like I was. I can go like this and not be out of breath. And, <sighs> and even talking, I'm not as much out of breath. Another thing is, uh, people noticed that they said when I was talking, I seemed out of breath. What you have to understand is when I'm talking, I'm not just sitting talking. A lot of times in video, I just got done rototilling a whole garden. Or I just got done lifting 50 pound feed bags somewhere. Or I just got done doing this. And so I don't have time to sit down and relax. I'm always on the go. Always on the go. So let's get on the treadmill and I'll show you just a little bit what I'm doing. And so you can follow along with me and see the difference that I'm doing from week to week. So here we are at the treadmill. And so I have it set over. So I have it set. Uh, it's half fast and half slow. I had the full slowest in the first week. And what I have now is I put a battery in it, and so I'm able to actually have a timer. And then I'll time it for 12 minutes. I don't watch the clock. You know, one thing about it's if you sit there and watch the clock, one thing is I don't watch the clock. So if you stand there and you're watching the clock, while you're, it just takes forever. <laughs> so I don't watch the clock. So I'm going to try to point it at my feet a little bit. I don't wear shoes. I don't like shoes. I liked walking barefoot or walking with socks on. It's just me people it's just me so all right so I have it a lot faster so this is the speed that I go now I don't think I showed you the speed in the beginning so just gotta take my word for it it's faster so what I do is I set my timer and I set it for 12 minutes so in the beginning the first five minutes I walk like this and then I start going like this so um, I don't know if it's gonna, the camera's going to pick it up. So I start kind of bouncing, kind of dancing while I work. It actually burns a lot more calories because I'm actually moving my hips and moving the upper part of me as well. All right, let me tilt the camera up. And so this is what I've been doing. 14 days straight <laughs> and then towards the end for the last three minutes I will go like this so I'm moving around well everyone I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that I'm encouraging you to get out there and start moving take care everyone we'll see you guys tomorrow Mwah! bye everybody oh I gotta get back to work no pain, no gain. Isn't that they will always say? Whew! There's a lot of pain in this. bought a lot of t-shirts that were 2x. They didn't even get here yet, but I ordered them. I think they're going to be too big. Going to get back in my X-Large. This is my X-Large shirt. Oh no! I might have to alter them just a little bit. That's a fun problem to have now, isn't it? Breathe in your nose. Breathe out your mouth. Breathe in your nose. Breathe out your mouth.
all of you because you watch my videos you've helped make a dream of mine come true it's because of viewers like you that I'm able to make these videos <laughs>